。潮玩飞镖 ，All about ducks。各位听众，欢迎同你嚟到我哋嘅节目嘅《潮玩飞镖》。今晚黑嘅我哋请到、呃、一个诶、呃、香港嘅诶、呃、编辑、呃、出版者 Nicole She， 佢就系诶呢个 d a t u r a d o t s Magazine 嘅。咁、呃、我哋希望、呃、今晚嘅访问之中可以同佢讲下佢嘅杂志啊，讲下佢嘅展望啊，讲佢嘅开始啊，讲其他飞镖手嘅。各種嘅誒唔同嘅故仔啊，或者之類啦。咁誒、呃，我哋而家咧就誒、呃、會盡快開呢個節目噶啦。等一等我哋而家誒而家同我哋英語嘅觀眾打個招呼先。不過之前我哋可以 say hello to、uh, Nicole、uh,。Nicole 你好。係你好 ，Hello。Okay。Peter Scott here, Nicole. Hi and welcome to the program. Okay.、Uh, this is all about darts, and、uh, I'm your host、uh, Robert, and with me is、uh, Peter Scott.、Uh, Your dots mentor, and、uh, today we have、uh, a very special guest.、Uh, she's the,、uh, the editor publisher of、uh, the Tutor Dots magazine, and、um, they are stay they are、um, uh, in Hong Kong. And the、uh, guest to tonight is、uh, Nicole Shi. And、uh, so with that, we、uh, get off with the interview. Peter, Nicole, now to the Canadian dot enthusiast, your.、Uh, Your magazine would be quite strange to us. We don't have a local magazine here, and most of our stuff is coming from the United States. So, this is a great opportunity for you to introduce your magazine to the Canadian public. Tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been published, and what you concentrate on. Okay,、um, I originally worked as a publisher, you know, like in books and you know, for example, novels and stuff like that. And I've been always been interested. And yeah, you know, the business. And I started playing、uh, darts maybe around three years ago. And、um, and at that time, I knew that there were you know、um, darts magazines from Japan. And I was wondering because you know the darts population in Hong Kong was growing and is still growing. And we should have a magazine. So that's how my my friend and I we got together. We talked about it, and we just decided to start a magazine. And we. Publish our first issue in April of 2013, and at first the magazine was only in traditional Chinese. Ah, that means the、uh, Big Five、uh, Chinese language、uh, written language. Pardon? That that means it's not the simplified Chinese. It is the Big、it's、Five writing. It's not simplified. It's traditional. Yeah,、Chinese. traditional is called the Big Five in the computer world. But anyways. Um, yeah, I know what that means. And so now, as I see,、uh, do you have uh, any uh, any uh, idea or any objective to go bilingual now or soon?、Uh, English and Chinese. Oh, it's actually、um, bilingual already. Okay.、Uh, we well,、um, because at first I was you know concerned with this when when we started, we only concentrated on、uh, the. On dot players in Hong Kong, and I was thinking, oh, if if the entire magazine is bilingual, would would people like it, or maybe they would think that it's awkward? So we started with、uh, issue nine,、uh, the cover story. We did it、um, in English and Chinese, and then gradually, when we did our、um, issue thirteen, I believe, with Scotty K on the cover, we did、uh, fully bilingual. So from issue thirteen onwards to, till now, you are bilingual totally.、Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So is it like、uh, one page、uh, on one side is English, one page is Chinese, or you intersperse the two language?、Uh, you know that、uh, that you go with one paragraph in English, one paragraph in Chinese. Well, because of、um, difficulty in doing the layout, I would do English first and then Chinese. Oh, okay, the two separate、mm -hmm. pages. Oh, that's good. That's good.、Mm -hmm. Yeah,、um, you know, I I have a I, I publish some articles myself on a paper, and they have both languages. And yeah, some people find it difficult to read when you are coming English Chinese English Chinese down the line. 
Okay, N let's... Nicole, uh, I have another question. Okay. Are you, when, do you want to translate this first? Yeah, give me uh, a Robert? second. Yeah, uh, let's okay. get uh, over to the other side of the audience. Uh, 各位观众, uh, 听众, uh, 我们刚刚, uh, 就访问这个嘉宾, 我们讲到, uh, 他的, uh, 他怎樣開始印刷這部飛鏢的雜誌 他最初的時候就是用繁體字去印刷的,自從第14集之後就開始他第九集開始使用英文,然後第13集開始使用兩種語言,英文和繁體字的,這個雜誌現在都在繁體字上,我相信。Now back to Peter. Yeah, if uh, one of our readers would like, or several of our readers would like a subscription, uh, do you do mail conscription, or can, uh, can you get it on the internet? Oh, uh, you can get, uh, get it on the internet because um, starting from issue twenty-seven, Dachura is now only available online. Mm. So you can actually go to our website, register, and subscribe. Okay, how about giving us your website? Okay, it's e dash version. Okay, would you like to repeat that? Okay, it's e dash version dot Okay, uh, and uh, okay, uh, so so let me uh, continue with this line of questioning. Uh, so now you're not publishing in paper anymore. You pub you only available online. Is that what I hear correctly? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. yes, that's right. Uh -huh. Any um, any um, any idea uh, objective to uh, publish also in simplified Chinese to get into the uh, Chinese market? Well, it's going to be hard because right now I'm the only person doing all the writing, translation, and layout. So and, and plus my simplified Chinese is not that good, so it's going to be difficult for me to do that. Uh -huh. and and it's not uh it's not in your plan to do that in the near future is that um to be honest i haven't really given that serious thought the reason being that i um i'm, I'm actually right now i'm still you know like um working on the doctor website which should be ready within uh, hopefully by by august and then um, also I'm actually working on improving Datura because when it was um, printed, it was only like maybe 50 something pages. But uh, for the current issue, which is uh, issue 28, I have almost 90 pages. So I'm actually having more content. So in order to concentrate on getting more content, I might not have so much time to really have a more solid plan for the future. So I'm, you know, Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I can understand that. Okay, 各位聽眾,我們剛剛講到這個雜誌的出版的問題 去做他雜誌的內容,他似乎是一個未決定的時刻,因為現在都很繁忙,還是做緊他的網址,希望在短期之內可以完成他其他未完成的部分。我們這個時候也是回到Peter。yeah, what I would like to do is that as a dart player of three years, uh, as you described yourself, uh, give us an overview of the dart scene in Hong Kong. I mean, like when you say you played three years, is that soft tip or steel tip? Soft tip, because um, when I started the magazine, I actually didn't really get much time to play anymore. Because I'm attending events and then working on the magazine. So I... I think um, 
well, I can't practice maybe 10 minutes a day these days, so I'm just concentrating on soft fit right now. Okay, and uh, is the dark environment over there primary soft tip? Um, well, I think it's 50-50 now because, yes, um, people, most people, they start with soft tip, but they all, they all believe that, or, you know, it's actually maybe a fact that, you know, if you want to get better in dark, you know, still tip is the way to go. Yes, we, we, we find that here too, is that uh, most of the people that to start off with steel tips and move to soft tip do very well. Okay, um, I think we're coming up uh, to the uh, end of the first segment very soon, so let me uh, get with the translation and get on to um, uh, the end of this uh, segment. Um, so, uh, I think what we're trying to say here, okay, Kawai, um um,啊,听众我哋啱讲到就係,啊,Peter问啊,我哋嘉宾,啊,嗰啲嘉宾,啊,佢响,啊,玩到三年嘅飞标,啊,佢係,啊,有边个开始呢,究竟係,啊,远
Yeah, it's very popular. What yeah. about the competitions? What kind of prizes do they offer? Money what prizes. Kind of prizes? Yeah. Are, are you talking about like individual uh, tournaments or yeah, the tournaments? Yeah. What kind of prizes do they offer? What kind of prizes? Well, it really varies because if you talk about like individual individual tournaments, like major ones, like um, there's the ADA by Phoenix um, around April of each year. And then before we had a few stages of uh, the world, and then there's a uh, for Silta, there's the Hong Kong Open, which is I believe uh, October of this year. And then uh, what else? Um, and I, I think for most players, they usually travel overseas for the major tournaments. Yeah, well, we did. We, yeah, yeah we, we, we just want to have an idea of the magnitude of the prices that we're talking about because here we're talking about $10,000, uh, uh, pretty well top, sometimes more. But uh, Very little, very often, very, uh, very rare you get more than $10,000 yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, but a few thousand Canada. definitely. But uh, mm -hmm. I just wonder how does that compare like in a place like Hong Kong? What's okay. a typical for, for local tournaments? I think it's like local individual tournaments. Maybe it's like maybe it's only a few thousand. Oh, Hong Kong yeah, dollars, right? Yes, Hong Kong dollars. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, that's not bad. A few thousand dollars. It's uh, it's helpful. It's uh, not very expensive. Uh, it's not a whole lot of money in a place <laughs> like that. Um, mm -hmm. You know. But uh, you talk about uh, early on about people can play darts uh, pretty well everywhere. But that uh, mm -hmm. that really means uh, still still tip darts because uh, uh, machines are uh, are they uh, are they relevant? Are the machines everywhere as well? Yeah, the machines are everywhere. Um, but if you talk about still tip uh, boards, um, there are only maybe a few places with you know. Uh, a larger number of ports because um, for most of the shops, you know, like they kind of depend their earnings from the coin drop, and plus the rent in Hong Kong is really expensive, so right. it's really hard for a shop to have just still to ports. Ah, okay. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So so they rather put in a uh, soft tip uh, machine there and uh, and make revenue all of that, right? Okay, let me do some translation here. Uh, so, we just talked about the different kinds of tips in Hong Kong. Uh, so, we talked about uh, Hong Kong Tournament uh, in Hong Kong. So, we talked about the different kinds of tips in Hong Kong. So, now we back to uh, Peter. Yeah, you've been publishing the Dart uh, Tura magazine now for two years. What are your in readers most interested in? What are you getting the most response for? What kind of articles and what is it about? Well, I think um, most people are um, more interested in, in a cover story because uh, Batura tries to interview players from all over the world and you know maybe our local players might not be so familiar with them. So, and um, for the cover stories, I don't just ask the players about you know, um, how to play darts or how to start playing darts. You know, I try to uncover something that you know, most people don't know about them. Oh, yeah. Such yeah. as. Such yeah. as. <laughs> yeah, but, like, for example, like, uh, for, for Scotty K, you know, like, I asked about his love story with his wife, and, you know, and it was sweet, and to, to, they're a really cute couple. Yeah, actually, uh, one time we interviewed Lim, and he's a cook or something, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so th yep. those would be interesting to the readers. But uh, along those lines, though, I, I do want to think that um, people uh, may want to also uh, find out uh, the Hong Kong scene as to whether there are uh, schools for darts, whether there are mentors, whether people can uh, mm -hmm. have private lessons, that sort of thing. Uh, what can you say about that? Well, um, 
excuse me, um, there are a few people, well, we don't really have a, a formal school for darts, but then there are a few um, shops or new organizations that are um, doing outreach programs in schools and uh, maybe even for the elderly in nursing homes. And um, there are some um, other maybe shops they, you know, on their own, they initiated a program for youth. And that's most, most of the programs. Yeah, so for what, dark, for, for, yeah. So, so what does the average person need to do to improve his dots other than by com competitions in the bar and practice at home and reading magazines and learn from the internet? You know, because we have a school here at the studio and um, we take students on uh, if they want to come and Peter and uh, Bong will actually work as uh, mentors uh, to bring people along. So I just, uh, I think you answer our question that there is uh, really no formal school for people to come and play darts and uh, learn darts. Well, as, um, well, as you talk about like for, uh, first of all, like for adults, it will be hard to have them, you know, come into a school regularly to practice because in Hong Kong, work usually for most people is hectic. Right, right. I knew all of that. Yeah, yeah I, I think a lot of people, they, you know, try to practice on their own. I mean, it's, of course, it's good to have a mentor, but then sometimes it depends on, on chance, you know, whether you can meet the right person who can be a mentor. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and in terms of like for kids, um, it's kind of hard because um, kids, kids in Hong Kong, they're very busy, you know, like they have to learn like maybe the piano and then um, go to their uh, tutoring class and then they have to learn this and that. And so, so it's really hard to um, try to get more people to play. So it's really, you know, I really appreciate what, you know, these, um, some of the shops and organizations are doing, you know, like going on their own and to do outreach programs. Okay. Uh, 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 之前我們說到跟嘉賓說到的就是說他的雜誌裡面有什麼東西是觀眾最想看的 一些比較不正統的訪問的,我們要訪問他的私人的故事,個人成就不是集中在他的非標成就那裡 and now we have a very uh, short question if uh, Peter could ask um, yeah. before we close off the session. Yeah, segment. nice easy one for you. Uh, why did you pick Roy de Milan for the uh, first cover of your magazine? Well, because Roy he, um, well, uh, first of all, he's the top player in Hong Kong, and he's uh, a very good built-up and softer player. And I know him personally, so he's a very convenient choice for me to be on the cover of the first issue. Oh, he's a great choice. He's a, he's a nice guy and a nice player. Well, we're going to have to continue mm -hmm, yeah. this in the next segment. Uh, we're coming up to the end of the first uh, segment, okay? Uh 二階段的時間,我們又會休息一陣,我們回來之後再繼續跟各位,跟嘉賓探討其他各樣的問題,OK?我們暫時去休息。Okay?
华语电台着数多，要 cut 在手冇错过。Canadian Chinese Radio 着数够 special。飞镖运动除强身健体之余，仲可训练头脑，又可认识新朋友。由 Multi Cultural Dance Association 主办嘅飞镖训练班，现已接受报名，享誉国际嘅 Peter Scott 同飞镖詹士邦亲自教导，五堂课程，包用具，只需五十蚊。报名及查询电话：四一六四九六九六三三。Learn to play darts with Peter Scott and James Bong Faldas at Multicultural Darts Association. Five sessions, equipment included, only fifty dollars. Please call four one six four nine six nine six three three for further details. 一早刷新手机查询电话：四一六四九六九六三三。华语电台，着数多，一刷再走，冇错过。潮玩飞镖 ，All about ducks。Okay, let's、uh, come back to all about darts. I'm Robert, your host, and、uh, co-host is、uh, Peter Scott. Tonight we have、uh, Nicole Shi, the uh, editor, uh, publisher of the Tour Darts Magazine, and this is our third segment of our interview. And、uh, let's get on with it,、uh, Peter. Yes,、uh, Nicole, you your magazine features pretty well every month the top-notch dart player on your、uh, on on the cover. Uh, what is it like for the professional players in Hong Kong? Are they、uh, can they make a living as a professional dart player? And、uh, is there any professional dart players in Hong Kong? Well,、um, officially and technically, I think there's only one in Hong Kong, and that's Lloyd Lam,、um, because in Hong Kong, as you know, you, you know how hectic life is. You know how. Yeah, everything is so expensive, so it's really hard to、um, earn your living just by playing darts. And also, there's the fact that there are a lot of good players around, so it is it's going to be tough to be you know fully pro- professional. Well, that's not surprising. Even here, we have a limited number of people that are truly professionals. And from our interviews, we could see that people are just.、Uh, Turning professional sometimes by the nature of their job, working for uh, uh, equipment companies, and then they just、um, make enough and、uh, work it off there, and they become professional. And there's a very limited number of them. I can probably count them in、uh, into the tens, you know. So、uh, I can understand exactly where、uh, it comes from in Hong Kong. I played darts with、uh, two world-class dart players, John Part and、uh, a fellow called Alan Hogg, and both of them had to leave Canada and go to England to actually uh, uh, pursue their professional dart career. So I think it's probably the same、uh, as in Hong Kong as it is in Canada. And、um, okay, uh, let's uh, let's look after the other side of the audience here for a bit. Go ahead, Ting Jung. 欢迎你又翻到嚟我哋嘅第三节嘅节目嗰度。咁诶，我哋继续访问嘅嘉宾就啊 Peter 提到诶、啊，究竟诶、啊、香港有冇诶、啊、一啲职业嘅标手咧？咁、啊、诶，我哋嘉宾就诶话俾 Peter 听咧，其实系诶、啊、都好难嘅。香港呢个生活又咁诶咁紧张，又咁诶冇时间嘅环境之下，咁、啊、其实即系真真正正有一个职业嘅标手就系呢个 Royden Lam 啦吓。咁、啊、诶、啊，我哋都有同感啊，因为我哋觉得即系就算喺美洲啊，都系得几十个诶、啊、真正嘅诶。啊職業標手，因為佢哋嘅工作問題咧，同埋誒，同埋啲誒飛鏢誒、呃、儀器嘅公司嗰度做誒誒、呃、做誒、呃，所以就可以半職業或者變咗全職業嘅標手啊。咁但係誒、呃，亦都提到 Peter， 亦都提到佢以前同一啲世界級嘅標手誒玩過，佢哋亦都最後由加拿大去咗英國先至可以成為職業標手，因為實在係冇誒出路嘅。咁誒。呃咁我哋而家就翻翻去我哋访问啦。And、uh, now we going back to、uh, our interview here about、um, 
subscription say shall we ask for a subscription yeah uh, the latest uh, issue I think number 28 uh, Dark Cherry magazine is now available with uh, Takehiro Suzuki uh, a well known Japanese dart player on the cover uh, tell us uh, if we were interested in that magazine how would we acquire it uh, Nicole okay what you need to do is go to um, the Yi version website which is e-version.dr.com.hk and you just register and then you pick the subscription plan you want and then pay through PayPal and you can read all issues of Datura. Oh, that's excellent. And How much would that cost? Okay, we're doing it by um, month by month. So for a month is uh, US $2.88 and then for three months it's four eighty eight and then six months is nine eighty eight. That's a very reasonable price for a good quality magazine. My goodness, well done. Yeah, I would say so too. So you are going to go go visit my site and subscribe right now, right? Mm-hmm. How yes. would they how would they pay for it? Oh you can pay by PayPal. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. PayPal right on the uh, on the internet. Yeah, PayPal yep. is always handy. It and is, so, isn't it? So did I get it right? Two uh, two months for two eighty eight, four months for four eighty eight, and six months for ninety eighty eight. Mm-hmm, yes, that's right. And then you can also go back and look at some of the old um, uh, oh, issues. issues as yeah. well, right? Well, that's really good for our uh, audience because uh, we have a lot of Chinese audience as well as um, uh, English speaking audience, and being a bilingual dot magazine. Uh, you know, it would be a, a welcome uh, addition to their uh, portfolio of books and uh, magazines to read, um, uh, especially on the website. And um, so, you know, and um, what um, what do you think is um, it's uh, is the future of uh, the magazine? Uh, oh, well, maybe I have asked a question before. At this point, you don't have any uh, idea to uh, go. Uh, Simplify uh, uh, Chinese. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, that thing. Okay, let me get back to um, the, uh, the translation. Cấm uh, 我哋就誒啱誒訪問嘉賓嘅時候，我哋講到就係話誒，究竟誒、呃、如果我哋想嗰啲聽眾想誒睇佢嘅 magazine 嘅時候，佢呢個雜誌嘅時候有乜嘢手續啊？有咩誒？呃誒、呃、要要俾咩嘅誒價錢咧？咁誒佢話俾我哋聽就係兩個月咧就係美金兩個八毫八，四個月咧就四個八毫八，六個月咧就九個八毫八。咁喺網上咧係可以誒睇翻入咗去之後咧登記之後咧就可以睇翻以前嘅誒、呃、以前嘅出版嘅。咁誒咁究竟誒、呃、因為而家去到第二十八集啦，咁你都可以追翻好多嘅。誒咁呢個 website 係咩呢？就係三個 W， 係 E 啊，即係 E 啊，先誒誒 E 啊，先誒 electronic 啊 ，E dash 誒 version 啦 ，V E R S I O N 啦 ，dot dot tura d a r t u r a dot com d c o m 啦 ，dot h k 嘅。咁各位聽眾，你哋可以誒去誒去呢個網址登記之後咧，就可以睇到呢部咁好嘅 magazine 啦。Peter, yeah, let's、uh, digress a little from your magazine, and you've covered most of the top-notch、uh, world stages of soft tip darts, mostly in Asia. Tell us what is the most memorial and why. Well, most memorial, I can't really pick one because I like all of them. I mean, they're super nice and.、Uh, It's just you know, like maybe for for example, for the Japanese players, most of them don't speak English, so I have a friend translate for me. But it's just fun talking to them because、um, because I think you know, like players from different countries that have really different views and mentality towards darts. And、uh, I know that you you want to tell the other side of the story about people and the relationship with others and. Background, etc. So, is、um, uh, at any given time does this interview、uh, include any technical tips? Do they typically give people technical tips? Well, they they kind of do, but then they all have their own style. 
so it's not really a, it's not like they're going to give you a you know like a handbook of tips of how to get better it is for most of them they just try they just put in the time and practice day after day and it's just about the dedication you know how much time you spend and you know like um, it's mostly about the passion for darts yeah I actually, you know like yeah yeah I, actually, I try to ask them that questions many times you know, like how do you get better that you know the, all, the answer always comes back you know it's like your passion for darts yeah, it's always a generic answer. We interview numerous uh, dot players from all over the world. I mean, while they have, some of them will tell us location on location, different uh, techniques, but only at the surface. They never really get down to the nitty gritties because I don't know whether they want to keep it as a trade secret or not, but uh, most of the time, people would like to answer you in a generic uh, kind of way and um, you really, uh, uh, you know, boils down to practice, find new challenges and, um, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah, you get that a lot. I'm sure that uh, we both uh, cover the same uh, uh, grounds when we come to uh, meeting these uh, celebrities and interviewing them. And... Um, we're now uh, coming to the end of the third segment. Uh, in the fourth segment, we would uh, be uh, providing you with the uh, latest start activities as part of our program at this point. And then we will uh, switch back to our uh, final bits of questions for our guests today. So uh, hang on a second. Uh, we'll go through the Chinese uh, portion of this uh, translation and then we will cut away and come back uh, in the, to the uh, fourth segment. Okay, uh, 各位听众, 我们继续讲, 就是说, uh, 究竟, uh, 我们这位嘉宾的访问, uh, 集中在哪里, 跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟跟
Okay, and we're now back to All About Dots. I'm your host, Robert, and uh, again with me is uh, Peter Scott, and our host uh, and our guest today is Nicole Shi. Uh, in our last segment, I uh, misunderstood uh, our guest's uh, explanation of uh, dot players uh, providing um, uh, tips and uh, information to uh, uh, people on shows and interviews. Uh, actually, um, what we're trying to say is that uh, uh, these players uh, have passions, and they very they tell people to work with a passion, and uh, because you know skills and tips are very uh, technical things, and they are very uh, different styles, and it's not applicable to everybody. So it's not so much as people trying to uh, hide it from people, but in the limited amount of uh, time and space, people cannot truly uh, explain to others uh, and give them uh, a long line of. T- tips and skills, uh, you know, uh, in, in these sort of publications and interviews. Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi và hẹn gặp lại các bạn trong những video tiếp theo. Hoặc là các bạn có thể nói rằng các bạn không biết rõ hoặc là các bạn giải thích cho các bạn biết rằng các bạn có thể nói 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 rằng 誒、uh, 去去玩佢哋嘅飛鏢，因為每一個飛鏢手佢嘅風格同都同埋誒佢哋嘅貼士都唔係誒可以用於每一個人嘅身上。咁有時候啲訪問之中亦都好難誒誒好詳細咁傳授呢啲咁嘅嘢俾人嘅。咁我希望呢個係澄清再好。咁我哋而家就誒講翻呢個誒、uh, 繼續呢個訪問。And Peter,、uh, let's provide.、Uh, The rest of the interviews here. All right, Nick, Nicole, you've、uh, been around the dart world now for some time. Where do you see the future of darts? Myself, I see that、uh, the soft tip、uh, darts revitalizing the dart world, especially the steel tip, as it brings use and money and technology into、uh, into the arena. And、uh, I'd like to see that happen. And I'm、uh, optimistic. Are you? Well, I'm actually quite optimistic.、Uh, first of all, soft tip、uh, has given darts a lot of publicity and exposure.、Mm-hmm. And also,、uh, like for example, for Hong Kong,、uh, we we're going to have the Hong Kong Darts Masters in、uh, September. And yeah, you know, it's because like for example, in, in the World Cup of Darts, you know, like Royan has got good really well, and the PDC is starting the World Tour, and you're trying to expand to Asia. So it's going to give darts even you know more exposure, and more people are going to learn about darts and know、um, exactly what it's like. I mean, it's not just for like existing dart players, but for the general public, they'll learn more about darts, and maybe more and more people are going to play. That's great, and、uh, I see a great future for darts in that world as a.、Uh, as a youth start to play a great deal because it's attractive to the young people. And especially the soft tip is, and、uh, the critical element I believe they need is just a passion for darts. After they've become、uh, interested and introduced to it. Yes, I, I totally agree with you. It's like maybe for some people, it's like hitting for in soft tip, maybe hitting their first first ball. Then you know they'll they'll be hooked to the yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. How did you get hooked for the game? Uh, my first school. <laughs>、mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. And so、um, uh, I, I also have a question relating to、uh, our situation here.、Uh, obviously, there is no、uh, radio show on dots in Hong Kong, is there? <laughs> Well,、um, there's a, not a regular radio show, but、uh, there used to be a show that airs regularly. That is、uh, by people who, who are passionate about darts, but of course, maybe they don't have the time to continue. But they, they、um, from time to time, they would、um, post something on YouTube.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're the only show in Canada, by the way.、Uh, just to. to、uh Tell it so. Uh, we're uh, we're really grateful for the、uh, Chinese Canadian uh, uh, broadcasting company here to give us a section called All About Darts. Yeah, and I think、right. that、uh, maybe your magazine uh, could uh, give us uh, 
uh, an introduction to your audience, uh, to your readers, uh, so that they can get on YouTube and um, look at and listen to our uh, uh, interviews with uh, various uh, players from around the world. Uh, we we have been uh, interviewing the top-notch players in Canada and U.S. and sometimes in, over in Europe oh as yeah, well. Oh yeah, we had Paul Lim the other day. Talking yeah, about I'll def- definitely. You know, like let readers of Dr. Ro know about your show, and actually, I've been sharing your links on my Facebook page too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're okay. Uh, let me uh, just uh, catch up with uh, the Chinese audience here, and uh, and then we'll get back to uh, close off your interview. Um, 各位听众，咁我哋啱啱就誒、uh, 講到誒、uh, 香港嘅將來嘅發展啦，係嘛？飛鏢。咁亦都係誒，亦都係誒，覺得我哋同時都講俾你聽，就係、是、我哋誒呢個節目就係加拿大唯一嘅美洲唯一嘅誒飛鏢節目啊！咁誒、呃、將來誒、呃，如果喺呢個雜誌嗰度講有一啲推廣嘅話，我哋亦都可以有好好嘅誒、呃、大家嘅互動嘅。咁誒、呃，我哋講到呢度今日咧，差唔多時候啦。咁誒、呃，我哋而家咧就要同各位觀眾講再見。And now we are going to、uh, say goodbye to our audience um, uh, from uh, Nicole.、Uh, and before we continue with the activity uh, of uh, of dots,、uh, so uh, Nicole, are you going to say goodbye to our audience? Okay,、uh, goodbye, everyone. Okay, it's been nice、uh, talking to you. It's been great, Nicole, and thank, thank you、here. so much. Okay, and now we will、uh, we will get back to something else. Thank you. And now it's time for our、um, our dots activity、uh, corner here for、uh, us to keep abreast of things. And here's Bong. This is Bong Faldas, all about darts. Darts players are invited to attend the eighth annual Pat Curran Memorial Dart Tournament 2015 on August 15, Saturday. Venue: Sutton Royal Canadian Legion Branch 356. Located at 21 East Street, Sutton West, Ontario. Four-person team, open to all levels. Round robin format. Only $80 per team, 100% payback. Registration 10 a.m. Game starts at 11:30 a.m. Doubles following if time permits. This is an all-adult tournament. 19 years of age or older to participate. Elspeth Curran, tournament director. Okay, 咁誒，我哋誒有一個誒第八屆嘅 Pat Curran 誒紀念飛鏢大賽二零一五，就誒喺八月十五號嘅禮拜六舉行。誒喺邊度舉行咧？就係喺 Sutton 誒 Royal Canadian Legion Branch 三百五啊六廿一號 East Street Sutton West Ontario， 有誒四個人一組嘅，咁就誒。有八十蚊一對，誒、嗯、咁全部嘅誒、呃、入場費都會作為獎金嘅。咁呢、這個誒、呃、登記就係十點開始就係十一點半。誒、呃、如果有時間嘅話咧，就亦都有雙打嘅。咁呢個係十九歲以上先可以參加。誒、嗯、呢、這個誒誒呢個誒比賽嘅誒、呃、主持就係呢個 Elspeth、uh, Curran。OK。August 29 Saturday, the Peacekeepers Triples Dart Tournament. Entry fee $45 per team. Format 501 round robin. Payout based on the number of entries received. 75% prices. 25% Peacekeepers Christmas dinner in November. Door prices 50/50 draws. Registration at 9:30 a.m. to 10:45 a.m. Play begins at 11:15. Venue: Army, Navy, and Air Force Club, Number、no. Seven George Street, Barrie, Ontario. Contact numbers: 705-796-0220. Pre-registration: Email to j. w i c k a n s at bill. net. Please help this worthy cause in support for、uh, two peacekeepers for their service to our country. Okay, 咁響八月廿九號禮拜六咧，亦都有一個叫做誒和平守衞者 Peace Peacock， 
誒 keepers 嘅誒比賽嘅。咁呢個比賽呢，就係誒四十五蚊一隊誒，咁、呃、呢，亦都係誒玩呢個五零一嘅 game 嘅。咁誒、呃、在乎有幾多人誒參加啦，咁七十五 percent 嘅錢呢，就去呢個獎金嗰度，廿五個 percent 咧就誒、呃、要嚟做一個聖誕嘅晚餐俾呢啲誒誒和平和平誒保衞者嘅，咁即係我哋軍隊嚟係咪？咁誒、呃、由九點半至十點四十五分就係登記，誒十一點十五分開始。咁喺邊度呢？就係誒呢個 Army Navy and Air Force Club 誒、呃、七號 George Street 喺 b e r r y 啊 b e r r y 即係而家四百號公路上嗰度 Ontario。咁電話呢，就係七零五七九六零二二零。誒咁誒，如果邊個想預咗登記呢，就 send 去呢個 J dot、呃、Wickens W I C K E N S at bell dot net。誒、呃、咁、呃、我哋要 support， 我哋要支持我哋呢啲誒維和嘅軍隊嘅 ，OK。All about the arts radio program is a project of Multicultural Dart Association, an organization which aims to promote darts as a sport and darts players in both soft tip and steel tip globally. MDA has experience in house darts mentors, themselves darts champions. Training session at MDA every Thursday, or it's open Monday to Friday at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Membership fee is $50 for the whole year. Contact 647-997-0808 for Chinese language, 647-7186921 for English language. OK， 誒、呃、咁我哋呢個全玩飛鏢嘅節目，亦都係一個誒、呃、我哋呢個多元文化飛鏢誒會協會嘅誒誒贊助嘅節目嚟嘅。咁我哋誒多元文化飛鏢多元文化協會咧，就誒、呃、有呢啲誒導師幫助大家去誒、呃、訓練自己嘅。咁我哋可以誒、呃、由禮拜一至禮拜五咧，六點至九點夜晚黑咧，就誒、呃、我哋誒喺呢度誒有誒、呃、有指導嘅。咁嗰啲會員費用呢，就係五十蚊一年、呃。如果有興趣嘅話，可以打電話六四七九九七零八零八係中文嘅，同埋誒六四七七一八六九二一係英文嘅。誒、呃、咁各位，我哋講到呢度呢，亦都係差唔多啦時間。我哋下星期同大家再會，拜拜。华语电台着数多 ，Canadian Chinese Radio Jet to Guard Special。飞镖运动除强身健体之余，仲可训练头脑，又可认识新朋友。由 Multicultural Dart Association 主办嘅飞镖训练班，现已接受报名。享誉国际嘅 Peter Scott 同飞镖詹士邦亲自教导，五堂课程，包用具，只需五十蚊。报名及查询电话：四一六四九六九六三三。Learn to play darts with Peter Scott and James Bong Faldas at Multicultural Darts Association. Five sessions, equipment included, only fifty dollars. Please call four one six four nine six nine six three three for further details. 一九七申请及查询电话：四一六四九六九六三三。华语电台卓叔哥，一七四九冇错过。